So this is where um I work. It's actually Fauzi's workstation. Um, he works from home, so this two are his monitors. He need two monitors. I don't know why. Uh, cause he does electronics and stuff. So, and then um, it used to be facing this wall here, but because I'm doing videos, I made him shift so that we get the natural light from the window, and therefore it um so that my face is not <laughs> dark when I talk. Um to the cameras i'm doing home-based learning uh by recording videos and screen sharing or screen recording my um laptop so that way like when children access it they can actually go through exactly what i go through because sometimes um it's the technical stuff that's like really uh, annoying because I have parents like asking me like how do I register where do I go in you know things like that and then yeah so I try not to do life lessons because I think life lessons are uh, just a huge pressure <laughs> on the teacher and also because of the recent zoom hacking incident right like I think it's best not to do life lessons because uh, I can't guarantee the safety of the the websites or the apps that um that are I'm going to be using. So, um, Reza, he will play, you know, just behind there. Um, he's, he can come into the room anytime. We close, uh, I mean, I will close, um, the bedroom door, uh, if I need to work without being disturbed. But the thing is, he can always push the door because that I don't really latch the door. So it's, it's, it's apart. It's so he can just come in anytime. Um, so like it's just one of the ways that I try to manage having a toddler around while working. Um, so far it has been quite all right, you know, managing. Um, but there are days when it gets a little bit overwhelming. There's some there's some days where I just have to sit with him and play with him because he just refused to let me do anything else you cannot play where's Gabby? where's Gabby the best no cannot no no come here come here come here no cannot this is a pointy pen tak boleh sayang But for the most part, um, as we go along, and like he understands that, uh, oh, okay, Mark needs to work, and we still do that routine every day. He kind of understands that okay, certain times that Mark is in the room and she cannot go out because she cannot play, so he will play with his father when that happens. So I put like uh block times in the day. Like for me, um. I will play with Reza until his nap time. So he will wake up and then I will play with him right until 11 and that's where he naps. Then after that, when he naps, I will quickly um, go and do my work right up until he wakes up. And then I'll play, him, I'll play with him a little bit, give him his lunch, then continue to work up until 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Um, and then it will it will be family time after that. Yeah, so or like if I need to do a lot more Can it stretch up till five or six then it depends it really depends on a day-to-day -day basis usually I will um, Every morning every night before I sleep I will make sure that I know what I need to accomplish for the following days and I will have like maybe 10 or 12 tasks but out of the 10 or 12 tasks, I will pick one that I feel like I need to have it completed in order to feel that sense of accomplishment. So that way, I don't overwhelm myself with the never-ending task of working from home. Yeah, to just give you an idea of how much time it takes it's like if i if i record a lesson even if it's a, like an 8 minute or 10 minute lesson it will still take about an hour to 
like sort of make sure that the links are working the videos are working maybe i added it a little bit to make sure that you know instead of like a 20 minute video it becomes a 10 minute video thing things like that so those things take time um yeah and it can get overwhelming honestly it's really just much easier to go to school and teach okay bye bye